Since the oil crises of the 1970s, the U.S. had banned most exports of domestically produced crude oil. This was uncontroversial since the U.S. was enormously dependent on imports to meet demand. The shale boom of the past few years altered this balance, however. Rising production from states such as Texas and North Dakota began to back out millions of barrels of imports. Gross imports fell from 10 million barrels a day to a low of about 7 million barrels a day in mid-2014. The light oil from the shale regions was also poorly suited for many U.S. refineries, which were designed to process heavy crudes from places such as Canada and Latin America. As producers faced the prospect of sharp discounts for light crude oil that no one in the U.S. really wanted, they successfully lobbied Congress to overturn the ban on exports. Exports have grown modestly this year, and new data showed a record 698,000 barrels a day was exported late last month. Oil has mainly been flowing to Canada, where shipments were already permitted before the ban was lifted. But new exports are going to places as diverse as the Netherlands, Israel, China, and Curaçao, the island nation near Venezuela. Curiously, U.S. oil imports have also been strengthening. This has happened for two main reasons. First, the longer oil prices remain low, the more U.S. oil output drops. Oil refineries are filling the gap with oil imports. Second, traders and refiners are trading around differences in quality. That light oil trapped inside the U.S. is now flowing out of ports like Corpus Christi, Texas, while more heavy oil tailored to refineries in places like the U.S. Gulf of Mexico coast is coming in. The movements suggest a complex new reality in the oil market depending on what type of oil it is and where it is being delivered. As an analyst at one of the world's biggest oil traders told me, ships are passing each other in the night carrying crude oil in and out. It means that the U.S. crude oil market will resemble the market for refined oil products such as gasoline and diesel which also flow in and out depending on where they're being unloaded and the time of year.